Okay, so we just resumed and our results are ready. So what you do is that you go to, let's say you are the program side. So you go to the results side and then you see your results. Realize that in position one, we programmed it for LFT. I actually wanted to program it for BV, but uh, it escaped me. So I did it for LFT. So you see the results here. So total believing, you see the value and then direct them it goes on and on and on and on and then these are the flags this one means it's low and this one means something about the reagent so um, all the flags and their meanings are in the user manual and i recommend that you read that it's highly recommended okay in position five that's where we had our lnt and then lipids so you see the lft results here and then the lipids also for the tj ldl hdl tc and so on and so forth. you can scroll down and then you see the rest of the results okay so so that's about that so uh, i reprogrammed the first sample and did b on it so this is the results for the b this is the crisis this is the urea the electrolytes are not here. We actually um, don't use this machine to run the electrolytes. The ISE model has not been programmed. So we use a semi-analyzer to um, program or to run the electrolytes. I'll be showing you that shortly. But before that, let's look at the manual. So the VS240 has its own manual. This is how it looks like okay so uh, if you open the manual i mean the last part you have a sheet that shows you the flags and then they are meaning okay so uh, i recommend that you read it and become familiar with it if only you have to run this machine so these are the various flags and then what they are meaning and they are correcting action so it's, it goes on and on and on and on and on. So you get a book and then you read it. Okay, so um, as I said, this is the machine we use to run our electrolytes. It's basically a semi um, analyzer. And in one of the videos to come, we'll talk about that in detail. So it's basically that's about this machine okay so that concludes part two we will um, talk about quality control and even calibration in part three which is also very very important for now but